Tara Jacobson, Marketing Art Police. So this is a, this is the story of an Etsy shop owner, me, who wants to refresh her shop. And I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. But I'm also going to be doing my work at the same time. So if you're even slightly thinking about doing digital products, I will be showing you how I come up with my worksheets and things like that. So first off, this worksheet is um, one that I did for another project, but I like that I have blocks in it. So this is going to be our very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to check our stats. And eventually I'll have this worksheet for sale, but you don't need a worksheet. You can just write this down on a piece of paper, right? Okay, so we're going to check our stats. And let's see what stats we need to check. Oh, that's my YouTube. Okay. Shop manager. You're going to go to shop manager. You're going to go to stats. Okay, so let's let's start with last 30 days. Visits, orders, conversion, revenue. Okay, so we want... Last... Oops, that won't work. Last 30 days... Visits, orders, conversion rate, now let's make all our lines the same amount. Makes nicer forms and revenue. Okay. And I will tell you that the highest I've gotten my revenue for this shop is probably um, in the 500s. Um, it may have been higher at certain times, like um, because I sell worksheets and planners at, you know, the end of the year, beginning of the first year, it would go higher. But I would say that honestly, this is a pretty, um, that, that 500 is probably pretty close to what my best times are. Just trying to get a, I like things to line up because I make worksheets, right? Oh, there we go. Okay, last 30 days, visits, orders, conversion rate, revenue. So my last 30 days are, and I'm going to, here, this is what I'm saying. You don't need to uh, have a worksheet. I like making a worksheet because that's just me. Okay. Last 30 visits. Three, two, three, six. Orders, 31. Conversion rate, 1. And revenue is 235, 253, 253.53. Okie dokie. All right, so now I want to know, um, I'm going to go, so this is the last 30 days, June 21st to July 20th. So right now is a weird time, right? Um, we're under lockdown here in, well, we're not really under lockdown, but we're kind of stuck at home here in Tampa, Florida. Um, 
So I want to find out last year too, right? So I'm just going to find out last year. Same one, same time. So we're going to say custom. I'm going to say 19, 19. Okay, so last year I did a lot better, right? Visits, 4,093, orders 53, which is why I need a refresh, 1.3, and then 443.69. Okay, so later on in this challenge i'm going to try to figure out some of these things but for right now i just need to get my um numbers right like we just need to start getting our numbers maybe we need a date on our last 30 days Okay. And then we're going to say last year. Uh oh, I messed this up. So this has to be two and then another date. worry we'll get it oh perfect so that does that's perfect let's do this copy paste there we go okay so last year we have I did better okay now I'm gonna go to all time So this is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So let's go um all year last year. Because I seem to do better last year. I just want to see... Okay, so let's do um, last year. Fifty five point eight. Okay. Six thirty nine orders. Conversion. My conversion rate is about one point one, <laughs> right? Or one or one point one. And then revenue four eight 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 point four nine. Okay. So now I went on my worksheet. And then we're going to say last year average. Because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take an average of that, meaning there's 12 months in the year, so I'm going to divide these by 12. So let's do 55800. Five, divided by 12. So my average, my average month was 4,000? Four, 4, that doesn't seem right. 
go back and look. No, my revenue is 48849. There we go. Oh gosh. Okay. So my average views were four five four thousand six hundred and fifty. Four thousand six hundred and fifty. So I got way more. My visits are going down, right? So I got to get my visits up. That's one of the things I need to do. Because if my conversion rate seems to be consistent at one percent, one of the things that I can think about doing is to increase the number of views, which will increase my sales, whether or not my conversion rate changes, right? We can work on things to change our conversion rate, which is something I might try to do in this refresh. But the one thing I know I can do is to um, increase my views, right? And I'm a marketing person, so that's that's okay for me. Okay, so 639 divided by 12. Let's do that. 639 divided by, oops. Clear, 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 clear. 639 divided by 12. So my average orders was 53, and what do I have right now? 31. So that's not, you know, we're, we're trending down. I don't like it. Um, conversion rate is 1.1. They just give me the average. Like I said, we may be able to take a look at that. And then the revenue was 48.8. 48. Four eight 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 point four nine divided by twelve, which is four hundred and seven thirty seven. Four hundred and seven dot thirty seven. Okay. So I'm below that right now too. So if I added an extra hundred dollars a month, which is about well one hundred and fifty dollars a month, extra hundred and fifty dollars a month times 12 months, I could add $1,800 to my annual revenue. And this is my digital products um, shop. So there's no fulfillment. There's no cost. There's no nothing. All I have to do is kind of get a little bit better at doing my work. So this is going to wrap up. This is all I want you to do for today is to write those down and start to get an idea of your numbers, right? We have to know that my goal, a really realistic goal would be $500 a month, right? And so that is what, oh, let's make a goal. Do we want to make a goal? Let's make a goal. Okay, so this can be a working goal, right? You don't know exactly what's going on. Let's see, working goal, working goal. All right, so I am going to set a working goal of Okay, let's get that out of there. Okay, okay. And this is what I'm going to kind of be working on for the rest of this year. Um, so we have visits. Orders, conversion rate, revenue. Okay. Visits, orders, conversion rate, revenue. Okay, so my revenue goal is easy for me to think of. My revenue goal is going to be $500 a month. My conversion rate, I want to get that up. So, um, like, increasing my conversion rate by 10%. 
would be 1.2. Um, but so let's let's say my goal is going to be 2%. So I'm going to say working goal visits. Well, I think I could get 5,000 a month easy. And because I'm going to increase my conversion rate, I don't need to get, like, I don't need to double the amount of visits to double the amount of revenue or even increase my revenue. Okay, orders. Let's see, orders. Let's do 75. Conversion rate, I want to get to 2%. And my revenue, I want to get to $500 a month every month, month in and month out. Um because last year it was $500. Oh, we better make that a bigger goal. Let's make that $750. Okay, so that is it for today. We're just checking our stats. You need to start, write them down somewhere like I did here. Eventually we'll have a worksheet if you want to do a worksheet to keep this for your records, but you can do this on your, um, just in a note. So, Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.